With the news that Pokemon has become a virtual streamer in reaction to her life English English launch, I, I had something to say to her and anyone else from Twitch that is currently streaming themselves that suddenly want to be VTubers or virtual streamers. You will never be considered as a virtual streamer or a VTuber ever. Primarily because you are not an actual virtual tuber. You don't have the same positive personality or a fictional backstory or a fictional character design that is similar to whole life a whole life streamers. Now Twitch streamers, particularly on the just chatting section, they don't have an attractive personality, they don't care about their fans, they don't like the same things men or otaku or anime fans do, and have no interest or work to improve it. That is why they're now invading the space of virtual tubers and horror life, uh, horror life YouTubers. They don't have the same uh, X factor as these, th the same atmosphere as these uh, horror life uh, VTubers have. And it's gotten to a point where Brittany Venti, an uh, infamous drama streamer, has outright made a video consisting of slander. Slander and lies based on, I mean, slander and lies on the uh, VTubers from horror life and the whole life audience, which is mainly fans of anime and video games. Now, whole life VTubers, they basically focus on video games, chat interaction, karaoke, all sorts of chat interaction. While, uh, while Twitch streamers on the Just Chatting section, they have a uh, little interest in their fans, and they just sit there, and they just sit there, do doing mostly nothing. Mostly there. This same reaction happened when Project Melody, the first virtual cam girl, uh, debuted on Chatterbait and then switched over to uh, Twitch. And lots of and lots of people actually loved her, loved her design, loved her interest. Even when uh, she tried to play video games, they they love her for it. And Twitch streamers on the Just Chatting section got angry because. She got better than them, and there are several advantages to uh, virtual streamers. Virtual streamers allow people who have some sort of personality and want to have the benefits of being a streamer without showing their face or or they are or not letting their parents or friends find out to be able to stream themselves playing video games or interacting with the chat or doing anything without the negativity of being a streamer. And with that, these virtual tours were, were able to create personas, uh, lore, backstories, uh, basically to fit in with the atmosphere of the, uh, of the virtual tuber to attract viewers. And with that, they are able to uh, stream video games and, ha and have all sorts of content. While with regular uh, Twitch streamers, they are mostly dead air. They just stand there, stand there waiting for viewers, because there's a good portion of uh, virtual, there's a good portion of Twitch streamers that do stream and they get money for nothing. They get money because they, because they, because viewers come to them for their looks, not for content. Virtual tubers. On the other hand, I've gotten way more popular because they have a lot of interest in their viewers, and they have big fan bases, and and there's and already there's plenty of fan art of the whole life uh, streamers, especially when the English uh, language debut came uh, around last week. Another difference is the uh, personality of uh, whole life streamers and regular Twitch streamers on Just Chang. The uh, just chatting streamers, for the most part, they are oftentimes they're, they just want to stay around, do nothing, and they have boring personalities, and uh, and basically, and they and they're bored themselves. Uh, virtual tubers, such as ones from the whole life English se section, they're actually ve they're actually very lively, very wholesome, and they have lively personalities, and 
positive personalities. Uh, virtual uh, Twitch streamers for the Just Challenge section just cannot compete. So they just lie and slander away, or they try to invade their space by just by just creating their own characters just based on their looks, not on unique design, such as the short character or the uh, vampire character or the girl with the tentacles. Seriously, they cannot compete with Hall Live. Seriously, the people from Just Chatting from Twitch cannot compete with Hall Live. And they don't want to. And if they do try to compete, they just do the bare minimum as possible. And one major difference is that uh, virtual tool chat culture is completely different than Twitch chat culture. In virtual tuber chat culture, it's used strictly for interactions between the viewer and the, and the streamer and about what is happening in the stream at the same time, whether it's video game, gaming, karaoke, or viewing stuff through the internet. <laughs> in uh, Twitch chat culture, it's basically totally different. It's just spamming uh, memes, spamming uh, chat icons, basically talking about the uh, streamer itself. I mean, it's totally, di it's totally different. Now, what is Pokemon and, and uh, Brittany Vane doing? It's simply a waste of time. And, and believe it or not, it's a Gundam. It is one of the few uh, Western virtual tubers out there that is actually doing a good job. And he's basically one of the few uh, virtual tubers that fit within the virtual tubing, the virtual tubing uh, uh, culture. Pokemon, he's she's not going to fit in in the uh, virtual tuber scene because of, because of the fact that she's done the bare minimum. She's just uh, made his made her uh, costume, her uh, avatar just based on her looks. But it's basically going to be the same content she provides. While virtual, do, while virtual tubers have done a whole lot more. Have done a whole lot more and are already become way more popular than Pokemon will really become. And that's why they can, cannot compete. And that's why they they make... That, that's why uh, people like Pokemon are making character attacks, slanders, and lies. Because they know they cannot compete. And they're not willing to do more to compete with virtual tubers. Because anyone with a personality, with a decent personality, who actually... It, who actually has the same interest in video games and anime can become a VTuber and become moderately successful. So in short, seriously, just chatting streamers from Twitch can never be can never be considered as virtual tubers at all. And they they should be they should more focus on on actually developing the same interests as the fans are in video games. They should actually play more video games instead of just sitting around and doing nothing. Sitting, instead of sitting around doing nothing, they should play more video games. Uh, play actual video games like uh, f like uh, first person shooters or MMORPG or even uh, or even a basic uh, video game. A mod, a mod video game. Like an RPG or a racing game. It, seriously, even a person playing a racing game will do a much more improvement. Will be much better than smearing and slandering way at VTubers. This is JK from the Ministry of Taco. It's just a it's just a rant in response to all this uh all this uh hub all this uh, backlash against Hall 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 Life English VTubers. And it's a shame that they're trying to change VTuber culture. And this needs to stop. And hopefully this video can, can accomplish this task. Because this needs to stop. Because if we don't speak out and defend virtual, virtual tubers, they will, uh, the real life, and especially the, uh, the, the 12 cycles on Twitter, will will attack them and will destroy the VTuber community. 
It's up to all of us to defend the VTubers community. Because if they can't defend themselves, and if, and if no one else is defending them, no one else will. That's it. We'll see you in the next video.